Dairy consumption in Indonesia has more than doubled in the past two decades, but local production makes up less than 20% of Indonesia's growing demand for dairy products. To keep up with demand, various extension programs have aimed to bridge the gap between new science and local farmers. But they're not always effective at introducing the right technology to address the farmer's unique needs or business goals. This has consequences throughout the value chain, from the smallholder farmers to the end consumer. The Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research and the Centre for Global Food and Resources in the University of Adelaide, together with government and research institutions in Indonesia, piloted an innovative extension method as part of the Indo-Dairy Project, a participatory farmer-led approach to improve the uptake of key practices and to boost local milk supply and quality. 184 local Indonesian farmers participated in 13 discussion groups across five sites where they prioritized the discussion topics, covering practice changes related to dairy nutrition, calf management, milk quality, and business management. The Indo-Dairy team noticed a broad increase in adoption and intention to adopt eight key dairy management practices covered, including teat dipping, making silage, record-keeping, and feeding colostrum to calves. It's clear, providing training based on the specific needs and priorities of the farmers results in a boost in their sense of ownership and motivation. This is the key to lasting behavior change, which leads to better quality and larger quantities of local milk for more satisfied Indonesian consumers.